to present this book to you, and I couldn't be happier to present it at Wellesley Books. Um, a home to me for a long time, my dog, Tucker. My <laughs> students wanted to make sure that I mentioned Tucker. Um, he has been here often, making himself known with his loud bay. Um, he used to come here and lie on this cold floor in the summer, and they would just be like, okay, Tucker's here. And anytime he comes, and bays, everyone comes running, Tucker's here! So, um, it is a special place. I love the booksellers here. I love being here. And I'm so thrilled that all of you came to celebrate with me because this is a long, long process. It's three years plus in the making. And um, it just feels really great to present it to you. I'm super excited. Um, so tons of special people in the audience, in fact, um, I think I know everyone here, so <laughs> okay. that's really fun. Um, my daughter is here with her boyfriend, Liam, my husband, Alan, and um, my childhood friend, Patty, um, and my sister, Lynn, um, with whom I started our, my first writing venture, the Daily Blab newspaper, <laughs> the circulation of six. <laughs> which we used to torment our two older sisters who, you know, deserved it. <laughs> um, my doctor is here. <laughs> my friend, my colleagues, my friend who flew up from Florida. Um, it's just fabulous. And my students, thank you for being here because you know who inspired me, right? That's how I became a, a children's book writer. As a child, I always wanted to write. I knew I wanted to be an author. I never knew what I would write. And um, after the Daily Blab, <laughs> you know, that was a trial by fire, um, I earned um, two degrees in English literature, one from the College of William and Mary, and there's a fellow alum here, um, and then from Boston College, where I met my husband. And, friends who are here, um, and became a reporter. So I was a daily newspaper reporter for an editor for about 10 years, and after I had my daughter, I got a little tired of taking her to the newsroom with me, to taking her stroller to finish a story on deadline. That was not really a great way to live. So um, eventually I became a children's librarian at the Hardy School just up the street from here in Wellesley. And after reading many, 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 many books and talking about books, discussing books and pulling them apart, um, I thought, well, maybe I could try this. After all, I wrote stories every day for 10 years. But no, it is not as easy as that. It took a lot of training, a lot of workshops, a lot of support from my writer friends who are here. And um, eventually, it happened. So. Um, you know, everyone says writing is 1% uh, right, inspiration and 99% perspiration. But I think it's really all about observation and noticing. Um, because you have to notice something before you can write about it, right? Before the inspiration hits. So with this book, 16 Words, William Carlos Williams and the Red Wheelbarrow, my inspiration came one day 